What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. And in, 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 in this episode, uh, the forces, the Russian forces we have penned in, in, I believe this, is, this would be Latvia, uh, are starting to try and break out. And uh, the force under Alonso Russo is going to prevent them from breaking out to the east. So we are going to insert this force and also this ragtag force we can just about see behind this banner. And this is episode 100. 100 episodes. Good God. <laughs> There's plenty more where that's come from. Um, it's taken us 100 episodes to secure uh, Europe. We haven't... Well... It's taking us 100 episodes to secure Europe. Once we start rolling in the Americas, that should fall in fairly short order, but then it should be... India will be where we start to get bogged down. Um, right, this is perfect Russian fighting... Russian territory. So, let's put them behind the lines. Let's put our guns in a line... here. Let's split our force up either side of the guns. Let's get ready. Our left flank is a bit weaker than our right. So they can get the bulk of the cavalry. I've stolen some, inf some, ca some uh, infantry from the other flank. Let's push. Mass at the bottom of the hill first. Focusing on their dragoons. Okay, let's run. Run our left flank of cavalry up. Actually, my field artillery, if they can just as they crest this hill, there we go, begin to attack this cavalry. Yep, so they are opening up on our forces, but the shrapnel shot's coming in. Focus on the, the Grenadier Guards. New men deploy into squares. Let's also switch you guys to round shot and begin to engage targets behind the lines. Okay, the end is near for that cavalry. These dragoons have just got shot off the saddle. I'm not even going to use my, my cavalry to charge in. Okay, round shot. Engage the militia. Cavalry doesn't need to move. There, uh, infantry doesn't need to move, but it will. Here are my my riflemen, which are going to engage the grenadier guards there instead, rather than the rather than the cavalry in this fight. So you've got hussars and cuirassiers against the general's bodyguard, which it would be nice to kill him. escape. Get my cavalry in to hit the sharpshooters. These are fusiliers, not who I would like to have hitting the militia. But we've got some more line infantry which we can swing in. And that'll do well. Push you guys up. Get these engineers to smash into the flank of the militia. Let's change our round shot to engage their three pounders. You engage the sharpshooters. Regiment of horse. Hit that regiment of horse. General's bodyguard, be careful. You hit that general's bodyguard. You guys push up. To be honest, some of you guys just smash the enemy position there. Okay, 
you could potentially hit the infantry there, but that's a bit of a gamble. Let's run you guys up. So, you know, the Fusiliers just get into, get into a position to engage the enemy with gunfire. Same with you guys. Get our hearts just to chase down that general's unit with our artillery. We're losing horsemen are being lost, or cavalrymen are being lost. My fusiliers have been charged by and the enemy sharpshooters. Mob the Dragoons. New men pivot. Because you've got enemy cuirassiers behind you. And these men are they these men desire yeah, to take, it, take pistol shots. Yeah, they're lucky my riflemen aren't in range. Hussars, hit the line infantry guard. Storm the regiment of horse forward, but watch out for the spikes. Run you guys forward. Hussars, fall back. Cursier, fall back. You men try charge the general's bodyguard. In true Russian style, they're going. To, oh, they ch I was going to say they're going to try and ch they're going to try and bayonet charge me. No, they're not. Riflemen stop shooting. All you're doing is killing your own fusiliers. These men, however, are going to annihilate this guard unit. Especially these fusiliers. Well, apparently not. Oh, I got shot in the head by a guard by an engineer. So is that guy. Oh, he missed. Okay, artillery, hold fire. Come on, there we go. They've routed. Let's focus on knocking out the general's bodyguard. So where's the general? There he is. He's probably going to get away though. That's okay. I believe... Well, you know what this means. They've got a hidden unit of irregulars somewhere. They're routing. God damn it, Russia. Oh no, is it your gunners are bugged out? Ah, there they are. Um, okay, let's try this. That won't work. We'll have to bring up our artillery. Uh, nope, we'll have to bring up our artillery. I 
So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when it is resolved, because that's classic AI behaviour. So see you in a second, everyone. There we go. I had to move my field artillery to be a, be a, have a bit of a better angle. But you, we, I attacked ground nearby, and a, a miss from that attack ground struck the crew down, and we won. We, it would still be a win, because we intercepted them, so they were attacking, so we would win as the defender. Um, but it, it, it's frustrating that you have to do that. Uh, you have to play these sorts of games with the AI. Um, but once you play the, once you play uh, Empire long enough, you uh, recognise what it's doing and just go, eh, they're just doing what they do. Yeah, don't worry, Moogle Empire, your time will come. They might still be... Let's just have a look, actually. I haven't looked at the prestige part for a while. So, prestige. Oh, we're not even on here because we aren't major power. Um, but the, Mo the Russians are still meant to, allegedly much more powerful than the Moogles, but... We'll have to see about that. You are recruiting well. You now need five units of regular infantry, which... Nope, not militia. One, two, three, four, five. Something, something, catching a fish. Sheet-lead cartridges researched. Okay. So, that means severe... Sevilla, Seville, Sevilla. You can be destroyed, me old mucker. Too bad I can't actually stop. I don't think I could stop you from researching it. Well, I can. Perfect. So Bologna, get on with sheep with top gallants. Jesuit College in Suez. Yeah, we know the push in the push against the Ottomans is on. You can put Damascus under siege. Ernesto, I mean, this isn't our naval hospital, so we can't repair it. But you're going to push up the coast. Raid the trade route. You, you are still going to attack the Maltese. To be honest, as are you. Can you men now leave Munich? <laughs> Not a chance. It's okay, let's upgrade the happiness building to try and offset that. So you, let's combine new men together. So you run generically down towards where the Russians are at. St. Petersburg garrison can leave St. Petersburg and march south to try and intercept Antioch Alexandre. You men are reinforcing. We've still got um, Riga under siege. The big power is over here. Which you will have to push against. Upgrade you into a port, to a trade port. Petrovskaya, your army can leave. And you're not going to get too upset about it, which is nice. Which means you can set you to probably get down here. See if this force can... Yes! Ah! Okay. Say, I thought I was hoping we would be able to uh, demand the surrender, but it looks like it was not much of a problem anyway. You've got a happiness building, which we don't strictly need here. Bartolomeo Asamani, you can march south e uh, southwest. Even though we're at peace with Britain, technically. Once we've taken out the Russians, we will be attacking them. So you're going down to Tbilisi. You are going down to Ardabil. Our forces can meet up in this region. Some will head west to destroy the 
Anatolian pocket, and then some will head east, declare war on Persia, and begin to push against them there. Um, okay. Got a lot of troops. We've got a lot, a lot of territory now in Central Europe, and more money than we can shake a stick at. Um, right, 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 right. Prepare the seminary. You can stay where you are for now because we have to go and. Well, first of all, let's take Balthazare out of Courland, get you guys in. Now that didn't work. You have orders. You have orders. But let's take Giordano Anatelli to go and hit the Russians. And these guys should be within range to support. They should, but they will not likely be needed. Let's move in. Let's destroy the Russian pocket at Riga. And that will free up even more troops. Some might even go to the Americas to begin to dismantle the Mughal apparatus uh, overseas. Might not be a terrible idea. We, we do know that they have sufficient, they have significant amounts of troops. Okay, let's deploy in a slightly more conventional manner. So let's take our artillery up. There we go. Fairly, fairly bland army composition here, but it's, it's a solid army. Regular old line infantry is really good, especially uh, when you get to late game and you've got the all the advanced firing drills. How it's a how it's a rocket troop. Just get you guys firing shrapnel shot. I wonder if that does any better. Too bad I'm getting some sound problems. I mean, it looks like it's doing better. They're clearing out the uh, emplacements using shrapnel shot rather than round shot. Rocket troops, rockets inbound. Ah, we'll be alright. Royal Cuirassier Guards, you silly billies, you shouldn't have come so close. Hello. What about you? Regiment of Horse. Drop into square. Go on, you men. Boom, boom, boom. Good hits, good hits. Let's start to get them to engage the troops coming in. This cavalry... Probably not going to do a huge amount of damage. Ooh, that quick line though. Redirect and pivot. New man, focus on the militia at close range. Get the regiment of horse on the move. Keep the infantry moving. You guys switched to round shot to lob shells over our lines. Yeah, lots of routing Russians. Russians! 
Alright, so you hit the cavalry to the rear. Let's trigger them to attack. Charge the Cossacks with our regiment of horse. This regiment of horse, sneak your way around behind their artillery and take them out. I mean, those, those hussars will probably be back. You guys smash that militia unit there. Keep the artillery focusing on this regiment of horse to the rear. There we go. I to see them taken care of. Get this infantry unit also charge the Cossacks. died. As we expected, the enemy is coming back from routing. There we go. The reinforcements coming in way over to the over the back. So you form our new line ahead of the defensive positions. I mean, it's highly likely that it's just going to be a question of the cavalry going in and mopping up their artillery. it looks like artillery is all they're going to be bringing into the battle so I might even just get my general on the go my guns firing round shot are out of range these men need to run up and take position because the militia are on their way they are not marked they're not charging these men and now they're charging very well I oh, know they're not charging but counter charge all the same and get them to chase down the engineers my my infantry will mop up the uh, the militia fairly well. Let's see if we can shatter them. There we go. So let's just so let's just speed up time, just because fundamentally I'm mopping up two general units and a gun team. Charge the general. He sent one of my guys flying. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> ah, the devils. Could maybe ever chase them down, but to be honest, we've got so much firepower in the area, it's not really a problem. 
Bastante. Ooh, fleet action. I mean, I should fight it, just because A, I'm rubbish and could do with the practice, and B, um, even though they've got a fairly capable fleet, lots of their ships are damaged, so... You know, if I can't fight a battle where I've got the better fleet, then I'm pretty pants. Well, I mean, I'm pretty pants as it is. I mean, I definitely accept that. Put my first up front, followed by my seconds, followed by my thirds, a mixture of thirds and seconds, plus the general, admiral, admiral. Okay, there we go. So let's make full sail. So as I, like I said, most, of, lots of their ships are either damaged from a morale standpoint, like this fourth rate's got half their guns missing, this third rate's down to 25 guns. This heavy first rate has nearly lost half their guns. Same again with this Sviatoy Dmitry Rostovsky. Rostovsky. I don't know why I said sky. You don't go skying. Still, look at this fourth rate is going to hit the line first and is going to uh, kick off the action. Our Admiral at this point is very very elite. Um, not down to me though, that's for darn sure. Okay, looks like they are moving to cut the fleet, to cut our fleet in half. To try and gain the weather gauge. Understandable. This fourth rate might get some annoying shots on Lemurian, Lemurian. <laughs> Lemurian, Lemurian. But let's just speed up time until the fleet actually gets in, or I could knock it down to second speed. I lost one gun, two gunners. Yeah, most of their sh most of their fleet is just lower tier ships. Their fur the heavy firsts are actually stuck at the back of the action. So the fourth rate might be frustrating on the head from the head of my column. But uh, the rest of their column coming up, heavy frigate. Imagine being on this ship and seeing that and going, ah, oh, nuts. They say that third rate doesn't fit in there. That's oh, a first rate. That's my my admiral. There we go. So he's pouring fire onto the heavy frigate. Fourth rate ship is going to be incredibly upset as the port side guns from this first rate get brought to bear because you can't actually tell what guns are on what how the damage is distributed a ha handful of guns fired boom because many guns are destroyed. Then her, her coal is going to pour brought into Raphael as well. Boom boom boom. Rolling broadside. Yep. Okay, let's just... Let's bring the ships to bear send some of these ships on a mission behind the lines. To be honest, most of them can go back here. <laughs> it's the 
heavy this heavy frigate is damaged. Okay, if you guys are doing that, you guys need to do it at faster speeds. Let's push you guys up. I don't want this frigate sneaking behind our ship. Let's bring her in close. Eh, yeah, round shot away. Okay, let's keep the ships pivoting. You go after a fail. You guys all need to sail a bit faster. Heavy privateers. Spill all the wind from your sails, because right now you don't need to be putting yourself in too much danger. You guys keep start pop shying off. Chain shot. Actually no, don't need to worry about that. Just open up. Try and see if we could do as much damage as possible to the various ships coming up. Ah, uh, don't worry. Break off the attack. Just. Pour some shots through this gap into Celafail. Get out of there! She gonna blow. She's on fire. She's gonna detonate. I do not want my ships near her when that country goes up. So get out of here, San Spiridon. There she goes. Now you guys can sail around and take up the position. Ah, chase down that fourth rate. fire so let's hope she makes it away so they're gonna she's gonna sneak through the lines but then she's gonna get hit by I was going to say broadsiding fire, but not a huge amount of broadsiding from here. Fire chain shot into her masts. That's she surrendered. Very well. So 
So yeah, you're firing chain shot to try and knock out that shit. You can turn against the 4th ray, probably firing chain shot. When you, by the time you've reloaded, you'll be able to knock out the masts of the 4th. Surrendered. Come on. That's right, sail right into me ship. Full broadside of chain. Down goes our mainmast. That is routing, the brave little soul. Let's pivot you to see if you can fire some shots at that little brig. There we go. One of our master down. The last master of the fourth rate is down. Okay, you guys. At full sail, create a new line ahead of the first rates. You can pivot and begin to reload. you two sail into a position like that or like that probably more accurately that'll do okay let's speed up time because right now it's just a bunch of ships Sailing along not very quickly. Full sail, you scurvy dogs. Although this scurvy dog might end up firing... I was about to say firing chain, but that's not going to happen. She's going to have to engage. Oh, it's a big old broadside. Madonna de la Salute. New ships try to cut her off. gunfire. Well, just keep on sailing. These guys have got to get into position to shoot. You might be ready soon to be firing chain. You are going to She's turning. You men fire round shot.
so you sail slightly forward yeah. you're gonna have to keep sailing so these ships are at full sail Put themselves alongside. The mainmast is still in good shape. This little good job this brig doesn't have any sails, otherwise. Oh god, T, I already did have something to say about that. ships try to make progress against the wind. Foremast is shot off. Let's pivot my flagship to begin to pour fire onto the heavy first. There we go, Admiral, fire! You're going to be in a position to chain shot soon. See, they are doing damage, Vittorio is upset. You can sail up to try and cut off the other ship. Go on, Gartia. I want this ship to wait to fire at that one. Okay, you guys switch the chain, sail ahead of the fir heavy first and trap the She lost her rear mast and she's lost her main mast. Fire round shot because it looks like she's going to change course. Pivot you. Heavy first is surrendered. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, she, she's not even ready to fight. Okay, you guys all start sailing into position. A whole lot of shots and she's on fire. I don't know if he I don't know if the Admiral's here. She's on fire, so they're gonna have to they're gonna have to cease their uh, gunnery to put it out. Fire! Oh no, she's badly on fire. If she doesn't surrender soon, she could go up. Oh no, if they put it out. Well, they have. They've, they've, they've helped fight the fires. She's routing while on fire. Damn right, we're going to continue. A coal is got a broadside away. Wash 
shots coming in. You better give up. And if you get too close, you're going to start getting round shot. There we go. The ship is ours. There we go, didn't lose any ships, so let's see what we got. Fourth rate, don't want. Fifth rate, don't want. Brig, don't want. Sloop. <laughs> Sloop of war, smelly. Smiley. We'll have the third, the heavy first, and not the rosé. Signore. You men make for Memo. Where you can join this fleet. Rebuild your strength. Uh, you're not capable of chasing them down. You can, ah, that last one uh, retreated back into port. Okay, you're going to get some cavalry. Let's get some uh, cuirassier support. Probably recruited from St. Petersburg. Yep. Um, let's let's attack Riga because that because most of the fighting we've been doing has been in this part of the world, so we may as well uh, continue that trend. Soon we will have this region secured. The troops can then march. Well, no, well, no, like I said, these troops might end up going to the Americas, in which case deployments of some of our heavy squadrons from the Baltic would be quite advantageous. We can then start to uh, blockade and bottle up the uh, Mughals in their holdings. We could probably do a bit of a pincer movement attack, send one force up to Newfoundland and Quebec and one to the south at Florida. Or oh, Florida. Very original, I know. Okay. Unlimber the guns. To be honest, the assault's going to begin anyway, as soon as the... As soon as the... Uh... Oh no, quick! Quick lime! No, I missed some shots! It's got some Grenadier Guards on the wall there... You guys take the main section of the wall. You guys hunker down and wait. You run up and take the gatehouse. You four units just hunker down and wait. Then the two units that are... Oh, just the one. No, there it is. You men move up. Get ready to draw some fire. They are redeploying. So let's... Okay, let's get these marines away from that side. That's a lot of marines lost in that action. Grenadier guards are actually charging over the bridge. Yeah, getting some marines up there would be quite beneficial. Because grenadiers aren't terrible. These guys are actually going to be quite... They're going to exact quite a heavy toll on our men. Oh, 
Grandes don't want to fight. <laughs> Some of them do. Don't charge out the gates, please. Let my men run up. Push along the wall. One of our howitzers work on this militia unit. No, don't charge us outside the gate. That's not fair. It's not your job either. Their job is to get men up the wall. Ah, the grenadiers have knocked out my marines. Right. Round shot. Blow the hole in the wall. Grenadiers are going down, but my men, are, my marines especially, are taking a taking a toll. I mean, because I because I've attacked the city um, immediately, it's I am I'm incredibly likely to be taking much more losses than I normally would. But we're going to make a way in. These guys have amassed a bit more on the wall. They can charge off down, ch down off the wall. The dragoons are going down. Let's get some of these howitzers to focus on the infantry that will be. Okay, let's get all the howitzers to focus on the infantry that will be waiting on these men. Because when that lasts. Artillery shot goes in. Charge! So let's charge two units of men off the walls at once. Because we can then start to... Uh, we can start to uh, severely damage where they're this cavalry can charge. Charge my men and my grenadiers in. There you go. Now the grenadiers are starting to lose just from a numbers perspective. Same with these dragoons. Right. You guys don't want to charge. Very well. Run in then, at least. There we go. Now they can start sparring over the breach. These Grenadier guards are down to their last 32 men. So this is the part of the thing with defending the walls is that look, you can see they've done a lot of damage to my guys, but it's just a question of numbers now. Push you guys up. So when we're when this is clear um, frame rates. No, I want my grenadiers in there. I want to get anyone out there out of it. It's my infantry. You're going to take time. 
So you can light Dragoons as well. And they're not, they're certainly not helping. Yep, here come the cavalry. If they run off the centre, the general's been killed by a errant um, how it's a shot. Okay, you guys sprint over the wall. You guys are attacking the 84th. Okay, they've, they've left the central square, so I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Oh no, they, see, they want to leave, but they can't. Because if they do, they know what's going to happen. You men cross the bridge. The marines can knock out the last of the grenadiers. See, this is the thing, is it? Battle <laughs> Empire is just so... Not very well optimised. The game just chugs. It absolutely chugs. So if I pull you guys out of the breach here... Yeah, so if I do that, it's fine. So switch you guys to quick climb and just begin quick climbing the guys at the breach. If I can't attack it myself, I'll just run away and artillery the bejesus out of it. This gatehouse has been won. You men are attacking the 4th regiment. Everyone else just pour through the gate. Go on, marines. Knock out the last handful of grenadiers. Second Grenadier Regiment is very experienced. Okay, if you guys are about turn, you can just pour musket fire onto the men in the breach. Yeah, there they go. Take the gate. Take the square. Game over soon. New men form up. There we go. They've, they've all gone. So we've definitely lost a lot more men than we would normally. Um, but, yeah. Sometimes keeping your men alive doesn't matter. We fight in the Russian style. What matters is you hurl so many men at, the, at their line, they can't stop you everywhere at once. But there we go. 800 men. The city is ours. So we can start to relocate forces to sail against, to march against the Americas. You will also do that. I'm going to bring them all over to this area, which would be Lithuania down here. No, it's Latvia. No, Estonia. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. That's it. Uh, we're still going to chase down and destroy these remnants. Let's do... Yeah, you're still... You need to replenish, because you will be attacking Lights of St. John. These guys are ready. Vito Spero, he's been around for a while. You men are going to be ready... Recruit a bunch, well, two more sloops would probably do it. To be ready, because they've not deployed. See how important dropping this fleet here was? It just meant they couldn't. Attacking over across the strait towards Istanbul was just, just a non starter. Which is pretty handy. Keeping their ports blockaded. We've had them blockaded for a long time. The Romano, Romano Balbi can put Damascus 
under siege, a very depleted Damascus under siege. You can march north, because you will be needed to probably blunt an advance from the Ottoman Empire, but I think we'd be foolish to not take you and demand the surrender of the garrison. What? Very well, march out of the city and engage this force here. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time to defeat this small Ottoman force that's been occupying Jerusalem. Cheers everyone.